Legal professionals toggle between applications 1,200 times each day, spending up to four hours per week simply navigating technology. That's around four hours of billable and productivity time that legal professionals waste switching between different drafting solutions just to finalize a document. Because of this, IT teams are also less productive. They spend significant time and resources maintaining and updating a range of disjointed drafting point solutions, but not with Latera Desktop. Latera Desktop is an end-to-end -end drafting suite that sits in Microsoft Word and lives on one ribbon and automates the repetitive drafting tasks. It allows legal professionals to easily create, proofread, style, repair, compare, clean, and publish documents. With Latera Desktop, legal professionals have more time to focus on higher value tasks. They experience fewer workflow interruptions and are less likely to make document mistakes that affect reputation. IT teams working with one vendor that understands their needs allows them to simplify software management and avoid those add-in conflicts. They can eliminate unused technology and enable higher adoption because everything legal professionals need to draft a document is in one place. That's why Latera Desktop experiences four times higher usage than any point solution. So let's see Latera Desktop in action. Now that we're looking at Latera Desktop and the one ribbon to rule them all, we'll be going through a little demonstration of it. And to get started, I'm going to generate a document from one of my templates. And I'm just going to use one of my favorites of this master services agreement and even apply a data set down below. So I'm going to search for Acme LLC and I'll use that data set. Now, before I do, there is some foundation integration down below, which is our experience management platform, giving you the ability to pull on that client matter details that you have saved off there. And once you choose the appropriate data set, it'll go ahead and generate that template with that information over here on the right already populated, interacting with it in whatever way I so choose. Now, once I'm happy with that, I can finalize this document and even in this case, pop open my content library because I have some specific language that I want to insert here. So I have my content here that's been curated by me and saved off. And that's what we're going to use um, as uh, the payment terms here. So I have some payment details that I'd like to insert. I can see what's about to be inserted. If I wanted to, I could search for that content um, or even go into my practice content to drill down into uh, what my firm has provided me. And once I'm happy with what I'm going to use, it's just a matter of double clicking on the content to insert it into the document, conforming to the look and feel of everything around. Now, as we move down the road of Latera Desktop and the ribbon, we will take a look at Latera Check, where you can proofread and repair um, the documents that you're working on. Now you see a number of different colors that are on my screen and this is active drafting. So it's surfacing or highlighting um, my defined terms, any defined term issues as well. So if I wanted to interact with it, I can right click on something like closing date because I know that it means that it's used and not defined. And in this case, I can insert that definition of a closing date that has a placeholder here, allowing me to define it appropriately. Now, something like collateral, if I was unsure of what uh, that was going on with that, I could again right click on it, open it in my task pane to allow me to see more details about it and even fix all the issues with collateral. It had some inconsistent capitalization there. Now, uh, maybe I'm reviewing some of my defined terms here and I want to take a look at liabilities. Again, I can double click on it. In this case, I'll just right click and open it in my task pane and you will get that defined term with the whole definition that's there, as well as the ability to you know, move between the different referenced items there. So if I want to see um, you know, how indebtedness was defined, I could simply click on that, see how that term is defined, see where it's used in the original liabilities definition to have that confidence I'm using the correct language. I can come back and start off where I originally was. Now I'll go ahead and, and save this off, but we do have the ability with the repair functionality to automate the numbers, the cross references, and even create a table of contents based on that, um, as well as some one click buttons to help with PDF conversions and as well as some cleanup routines here. Now I've saved this off and maybe I want to um, compare it next, right? And I can leverage Latera Compare to open in the um, application and select my original and modified and produce that results. 
But we also have a few other ways that you can complete a comparison. With our M365 app with Compare, you can have the ability to select your modified and original document. In this case, I'll browse for that original document here and select my original. If I wanted to, I can pull from iManage as well. When I complete the comparison, I'll have the ability to download it, open it in a browser, or even save it back to iManage. But when I open in the browser, you'll see those changes that have occurred over here on the left, and you can scroll through that document to see what else is going on. And then the third piece that you get with uh, compares, you also have some email compare functionality. So I can email two um, attachments to a particular email address and it'll return uh, that red line comparison back to me. So a few different ways that you have the ability to interact from a comparison standpoint. Now the next piece of the Latera desktop comes to PDF Docs. So I have a document here that I've been working on and I want to bring it into PDF Docs um, into one of the binders I'm working on. But first there's some redactions that I want to make. So I have this imported in here. I searched for Joel Street and I'm going to simply mark those redactions and apply them to the particular document or PDF I'm working with. And once that has been completed here, I can then simply um, import it into my binder project that I'm working on. And now that agreement letter has come over, I can arrange it where I so choose. Um, I have a cover page as well and simply make that particular binder. And once this binder is completed while that's going, this is what you will get. You will see that uh, table of contents. There's that uh, letter that I had added to this as well. And now that my binder is created, I've saved off those uh, documents that I've used in the past. And now I want to go ahead and email them out. So I'm in um, the new Outlook or Outlook.com, whatever you want to call it. But I have my attachments here and I'm simply going to send uh, this email out allowing uh, Metadact to kick in using an M365 app to be able to analyze the documents that are attached to the email, give me an associated risk level with them, and even have the ability to choose different one of my different cleaning options, whether it's my Latera default cleaning action that I'm going to be leveraging here, or, you know, maybe I want to, um, you know, skip cleaning for one of the files, I can have that as an optional feature. I can click next and it'll go through and process those files, send them off to Metadact to be cleaned and downloaded back to the email. Once everything has been completed, I would click next and the files would now be sent out. So I hope everybody enjoyed the experience of Latera Desktop and have a good one.